welcome back to my channel if you already subscribe if you're new welcome back to the family first off before i get started my video hold on okay i do want to apologize to you guys for abandoning you guys because i have not posted in three weeks and i do apologize i just have not felt like recording and i don't want to give y'all no half-ass work so before I get into the video, I did want to show y'all. This is one bracelet that I have right here. I sell these for five dollars, like the little zodiac bracelets. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, but yes, I do sell these, and I will leave my website up, well, my page where you can purchase those. I will leave those in the link below. So today's video. I really didn't take notes, it's just going to be off the top of my head because I feel like now is a good time to record while it's still fresh. So, first off, I just got back from ATL. Um, I took a flight yesterday and it took an hour and some change to get to Richmond and yeah, that was that. Uh, my experience down there was okay. My first night, um, I went to this little club and they had a little event and I danced and I made close to 700. And it was this female, right guys? And she was throwing 20s, about the 20s. And I was so surprised because at first I thought she dropped it on accident, but I seen her throwing them. So I'm like, oh, okay. So... That was that, so, yay. So, yeah, the second night was not good at all. Um, it's this club in Atlanta called Knockouts, right? And the tip out is $50. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. The tip out is $50. So, me and this girl, we went and we paid $50, right? So, I go in the area or whatever I change come back out it's people performing so I'm like all right this this would be a good night people performing that means money right no people was barely throwing any money like the only time it was money is when somebody would perform and it was barely that it's like y'all know you see a music video and you see when they have money in it it was I'm so sorry y'all it was something like that it was like something like that going on so i was a bit confused but then this pretty girl came on and she requested big girls so me and my friend we went over there and we started dancing right so she's throwing the money and it's over like she finished doing her song whatever so i'm like all right let me pick up my money i goes to pick it up and this big guy comes over there like no 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 don't pick it up we got you and and you know some clubs they do pick the money up for you but i'm not really familiar with if they give it to you at the end or so i was like okay cool but what got me was the fact that they said we're going to split the money between you and all the other dancers mind you it's like 10 plus dancers there so you mean to tell me that you're going to take all the money and split it between us so i'm basically working for other people now the ghetto so I was really mad about it but you know what I let it go and I just ended up staying and um, I just stayed and had a good time I had a good time um, so as it's getting towards the end and it's ready to be over with I'm like okay can we have our money now and then they were like what money what are you talking about what money and I'm like what do you mean the money that we're supposed to get at the end remember and they're basically like we don't know what you're talking about but we're close so can you please leave and i'm like okay i'll leave but i haven't got any money yet and they start getting rude with me and they start cussing me out and i'm like what are you what are you mad for what are you mad for honey you the one that took my money and you're upset with me you cannot be for real. But yeah, y'all. 
so they didn't give me or my friend any money that we were supposed to get back so I was pretty upset about it but um, I listened to some music and um, I pretty much let it go I the, the next day which was yesterday another dancer that I know sent me a screenshot of them they, they made a post about me basically saying that they're not going to let any fat bitches dance at their club anymore. And I was very shocked because where's all this anger coming from? Like, you stole from me. You took my money. I let it go. You're making posts saying you're not going to let any fat bitches dance at the club anymore. That is so disrespectful. Mind y'all, only two girls got their money back. And it was two skinny girls. Okay? So. I was pretty mad, but I let it go. Only two skinny girls got their money out of everybody that I know. Because some dancers end up leaving. Some dancers end up leaving. But... Yeah. So I was pretty upset and um I took a flight back to Richmond where I'm from and it's this place that I dance at where I just started dancing at. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna get on the flight and I'm gonna go work there and just chill at home. So I get on the flight, the flight was good. Um I come home, drop off my luggage, head out the door. Um, I head to the place, tip in, there's $30 there, so, but she says that we don't have to pay immediately, we could make some money first, then pay her, so I appreciate that. So, I'm dancing or whatever, before I start dancing, I go in there and I immediately was like, okay, because it was a lot of people, so I was like, okay, you got this. So, because mind you, I have not been dancing since Atlanta, I haven't danced in like two or three weeks, so I was kind of on break. So I was like, ooh, you got this. Okay, so I'm dancing or whatever, and I was getting hot. I was getting really hot and sweaty, and I don't like to be hot and sweaty because it's not a good feeling. It's nasty. So when I started dancing... It was like this girl that threw like $5 at me. And I appreciate you if you're watching this. Thank you so much. Because that counts. So. I was like, okay. I'm going to make some money tonight. Bet. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. So. um, As it, the night goes on or whatever. I'm like. Um, you didn't come from Atlanta just to make $5. Did you? So. Um, I just walk around the building, try to fill out, you know what I'm saying, fill out the place, the energy, the vibes, all that goodness. So, um, they do this thing called rotation there, and, um, I went on there, and I went on there twice, and the first time I went on there, um, it was like, maybe like, I had like ten dollars thrown. That was about it. Maybe less than that. I don't know. But it won't no more than ten. And the girl next to me, she killing it. They barely giving her any money either. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But my job, it was still kind of early. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just let it slide because I got to four o'clock. So the night goes on. I'm walking around again. I head to the back. Um, I start dancing. Um, Somebody just start throwing money at me. I don't know where, just throwing it, throwing it. And I'm like, all right, cool, thank you. I collect that. So I wait about 10, 20 minutes later, I go on the stage set. And as I was dancing, I, I noticed that it was it was me and this one girl on stage. And some other girl had came on too. So I'm like, all right, cool. First of all, the stage is not but so big. So, and one of the girls like to swing her legs like, and I have to dance, y'all, without trying to get kicked in the face or none of that. The other girl next to me putting her legs all in the air. 
doing all type of tricks and stuff. Don't get me wrong because I could do them too. But I was not going to do that because I barely had any room. Do we have people that's hovering around the stage like back up so you're not even tipping. Back up a little bit please baby please. So um. I'm just dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, and I feel a little bit of wands hit me here and there. And I'm looking on the side, and it's the other two girls making money. They're smaller, so of course you already know they're gonna make money. So I just got off stage because at this point, I'm done. I'm not ready to keep sweating for free. None of that, I'm not doing that. That's just not what I do, like, feet was hurting anyways. And I barely had any room, so I just go ahead and let them have the stage. So, um, yeah. So, I keep it real, you guys know that. My night was shitty there. I made a total of $50, but mind y'all, I have to pay $30 to in. So, that leaves me with how much, guys? You're right, $20. So, I came from Atlanta to this shit. Just to fucking make twenty dollars. I know I could make twenty dollars. I would just stay where the fuck I was at. But I left Atlanta because of the situation, and I was just ready to go anyways. So I was like, you might as well work here. But I still could have stayed in Atlanta and had a good time if I knew I was gonna make twenty dollars. So I just feel like it's about my way, and I don't give a fuck. Who gets mad when I say this? The skinny girls are bound to make money. I don't know what it is about them that niggas like. I don't know what it is. And I just feel like, why can't we all get money? Like, why can't niggas just be nice? Like, why can't you just tip everybody? Because everybody is in there for a reason. Like, I ain't trying to get a car. Um, I'm also in school. I have to pay for my second semester in school. And I'm trying to get a vehicle. After that, I will be trying to get my own place. So, you know, everybody goes in there. They have goals they want to accomplish. And I know that the guys may not know that. And I know everybody is not everybody's cup of tea. But at the same time, you can be generous and at least tip the girl $5. The girl as in me. You can at least tip me $5. Don't just sit there and look at me like... I just feel like skinny girls are... Like, I don't know, people's number one go-to. I don't know why, I don't know why people don't like big girls. And you can say what you want to say, but baby, it's the truth, okay? Because I'm not crazy. I went up there and danced. I didn't make nothing for real, for real. But let little two skinny girls go up there and money every goddamn where. Why is that? Why do you men have this mindset that all people are supposed to be skinny and we're not. Everybody is built different. God built us all different. If he all built us skinny, it would just be weird. We're all different. So I just feel like it's a mindset thing. If you get what I'm saying, it's a mindset thing to this. And I really don't care whose skin I get under. I don't give a fuck. And I'm sorry to sound me, but it is what it is. And a lot of people say, <clears throat> A lot of people say that I'm very inspiring. I really appreciate for, uh, I really appreciate you for that. But at the same time, listen, it ain't easy, honey. So I'm glad that I inspire you. I, I mean, listen, <laughs> it is not easy. I just don't understand why we have to go through so much. Like, why can't we all just be loved the same? Why can't we all be treated the same? It's like, they get treated like they're Jesus, like they're just the most highest versus the big girls. We get looked at a certain way. We get judged off of our weight. Um, they, don't, it's just, they don't suspect certain things from us because we're bigger. Some of us are bigger for certain reasons and some of us just can't help it. I used to be small, but I ended up getting on birth control, which made me, you know, gain a little weight. So, um, I don't mean to say it's to seem hateful or anything, but it is the goddamn truth. I don't care who gets mad. Um, 
and it's pretty much all I can say. And people always say that, well, it's not about your weight, it's about your presentation. Sweetheart, my hair done, my lashes done, nails done, feet done. My outfits are nice. I got some Gucci ones. And I got another kind, I don't know the, the brand of it, but I have Gucci outfit. I have some nice outfits, you know? So, it's all about the weight. Like, I'm not fucking slow. I'm not slow. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been doing this long enough to know. I'm not stupid. We have to work ten times harder. We get looked at a certain way. We get judged just by off our weight. People always ask me all the time, you're a dancer? Like, you're really a dancer? Yes, I am a dancer. And dancing should be for everyone, not just for certain people, you know? And I just feel like, I know I say this a lot, but I just feel like I'm done with this. Like, with all this being said, I feel like I'm really gonna hang up the dancing because I just feel like, it's not for me because I know that I don't look bad. I know that I keep myself up. I know that I don't, you know, stink. I know that I am that bitch, okay? Period. Fabulous. I'm gone with the wind, fabulous. I'm gone with So it's just these niggas in their mindset, and their mindset is fucked up. And that's okay. You could have a fucked up mindset, but you need to know that you're dead wrong. But. I just want to let you know that um, I think I'm done, guys. Um, I've been doing this for uh, eight months now. And uh, when I first started out, yeah, I was just using it as a, a gang. I really didn't have any goals. Um, I'm just out looking for a job now, guys, because... I am thinking about quitting. Like, for real, I think I'm done. I just don't think it's for me, and I'm really enough to say that. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and make everything look like something that it's not. I don't do that. I just tell it like it is. And I don't care who laughs at me. I don't care who gets mad at me. It is what it is. Um, that's about it. But, um,. Thank you guys for watching my video. Um, again, I do apologize for abandoning y'all. I will try to post more constantly like I used to do. Just give me some time, alright? I love y'all. Thank you for watching.